Plum and we own the night on 103.5 WECL, and this is getting to be a habit. Uh, <laughs> Back again. I mean, we get to the end of the week, and, and look who shows up to talk about food. Uh, Steve, how are you doing this morning, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Everything, everything good on Shim Creek? Oh, Shim Creek is lovely. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I uh, we we I, I spend a lot of time on Shim Creek. Oh, it's an awesome place. We've and, heard. And I do. I spend a lot of time over there. In the police reports. Yeah, we've heard exactly. I, I'm like the what is it? The, the mayor of You're like of, the ambassador. Aren't I'm you? the mayor of Shim Creekville or whatever it is on on, on my phone man at four, on Four Square. It's great. Anyway, uh, restaurant week's over, and now we turn right around and jump back into the big pile uh, for the uh, big oyster oyster for roast this weekend. We're huh? still peddling down here at the Tulsa Restaurant Association. <laughs> man, so. the 29th annual low country oyster festival this sunday out at boone hall this thing's a monster every year right i mean it's the world's largest oyster festival that's what we've been mm. we're riding with that somebody gave it to me that and sounds I'm good with go with it man that's Eighty thousand pounds of oysters that's amazing. they roll through that joint and and, and i was there last year i, I was uh, emceeing the uh, uh the eating contest and that's just the nastiest thing i'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> Uh, there, there are very few, and I and I've lived in Europe, and I and I and I've lived in a car, and I've done a lot of things in my life in Europe and a car. And, I mean, I've I've covered the bases, covered the spectrum right there. And one of the nastiest things I've ever seen is people sucking oysters out of a plastic cup. Well, you're going to watch eleven thousand of them do it. This I mean, weekend. I mean, it's it's just an amazing thing to watch, buddy. Yes, I, I've seen it one time from the stage, and I was like, I, I laughed the first year i was out there the judges were in front of the contestants and right. real fast they all moved behind the yeah. contestants oh, yeah because wow. it gets something now there are a couple of them who are extremely good at just letting them roll oh man i mean they just turn the cup up and they roll down the throat and then there are others who decide they just need to be nice about it yeah and they don't have a prayer it's really incredible to watch. I think it's shaking that salt water out of it. it might be the first trip. Yeah, that, that, yeah, because that brine will settle hard. You know what I'm saying? But it, but it's it's not only uh, you know the fun and game. It's also just a day to come out and and chill and just hang and eat uh, oysters. I mean, some great oysters. I'm telling you, it, it's prime time. You know, uh, we picked that weekend as in between playoffs and the Super Bowl. It's out at Boone Hall, which is a lovely, lovely plantation, and. Um, I mean, what a great cause. We're just raising money for our charities and for our culinary programs at the colleges and in high schools around here. And um, we're, we're super stoked. What a better way to socialize with eating some oysters, drinking yeah. some cold beer, and eat some great food. Some And, some and, and, and you know what? It, it, it's really a family event. I was looking through a lot of the pictures I took last year while I was out there, and you got that kids' play area out there now. And, and uh, But I was just amazed at the number of families that were hanging out on the blankets and the kids were and you and uh, you and your kid playing ball out there and everybody oh, yeah. right in front of the stage i mean it, it was uh, it's really a family event that people it, get to we have worked very very hard to get that event um, squared away cuz most oyster roasts you know might be a little older crowd and uh, some beer drinking and uh, no. oyster shucking and maybe some swearing you know but really? that, that's you know that's my backyard and that shouldn't be it. a beautiful yeah. boone hall probably so <laughs> yeah. we have we've geared that up i mean there's jump castle and pony rides and we tie all that into animal rescues and and, and and you know it's tons of stuff for the kids to do um and tons of stuff for your family let your kids come out and let them burn some energy off it's Absolutely. a great place yeah what time does all this start it starts at 10 30 the gates open at 10 30 morning so you come on in at 10 30 you will not be waiting in the line Mm-mm. you will come on in enjoy a family day in fact uh talking about waiting in line the biggest problem with uh the oyster roast any event uh out out at um uh, boone hall has always been the the, the, the parking and yeah. getting in and getting out well, last year uh they got the new system set up you have to and, taste of charleston and i'm going to tell you something uh, worked great make I, a difference i thought i had picked the wrong day I remember you, you remember, talking about that because i didn't right. stop I, yeah. I, I got off 17 and just went back and then turned in and i and i was parked and i went maybe i'm is it open then you guys like bring in the <laughs> army corps of engineers or I'm something telling you, we brought in a, a, a uh i forget the name of the company and they're yeah. gonna kill me but uh they they're awesome and what they do they do daniel on tennis center they do the air shows around they do stuff all over the country but they are a military staffed uh, personnel. Yes. They they use our Air Force Base personnel to come in and make some extra money. So you just got guys who who are obedient and listen and 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 cooperate and uh, and communicate. It's a system. 
So, and the biggest thing is everything is an entrance for the first part of the uh, in, of the event. Oh, you know, I forgot all about it because we get so wrapped up in the taste that the Oyster Festival, we do a, a park and ride. It's like a hayride into Boone Hall through mm-hmm. the back side of Boone Hall, which most people never see that side of the plantation. Mm-hmm. Um, so you could park up by where the pumpkin patch would normally be or the strawberry picking and come in on Willie's tram. So he's got eight of them, I think. And uh, it's a free ride in, so you could park there and ride the tram in. And it just gives you, you know... It lets you see the haunted hayride when there's exactly. not haunted. Exactly. Se- several, <laughs> several hundred extra parking spaces up there as well. It's uh, Again, live music, beer, wine, uh, oyster shucking contest. That's where you hear a lot of the cussing. Uh, but uh, but it, it's a lot of fun to watch the oyster eating, uh, the kids area. It's just it's just an incredible day. It is. Uh, and if you don't care about oysters, there's plenty of other good food there as well. Oh, right? There's eight great restaurants out there. They're all members of the Charleston Restaurant Association that uh, participate in the Taste of Charleston and Restaurant Week. So you, there's good food all to be had. Um, you know, the, the big thing to this, TJ, and, and people don't get it, the Charleston Restaurant Association puts this event on, and it has for 29 years. It's 100% volunteer-based. Yep. I mean, it takes about 120 people to run this event. It takes about $100,000 just to put it on, just to purchase oysters, and wow. just to get, get the things we need to have it. And then we pray for no rain, or we say bring your foul weather gear, whatever works for you. Because it's rain or shine. That's yeah. right. And uh, all the money then turn the prop proceeds then go to Ronald McDonald House, the Hollings Cancer Center, Charleston County Materials Resource Center, and uh, Hospitality Heroes, uh, four really great organizations here in town to help folks out. And you can get your tickets twelve bucks in advance, fifteen at the door. Kids under ten are free. And if you need more information, you can go to Charleston Restaurant Association dot com and find out everything you need. It's going to gonna know. be awesome. You know, you, you know, we what we have. Every time we go to ATAC in Mount Pleasant asking for a little help to support this event, they're like, you don't have a Mount Pleasant charity in Mm Boston. And this year we put two in. We put Hospitality Heroes and we put the Shriners in. We just put the Shriners on all our events. So we are... That's helping great. these guys rebrand a little bit. They're the pioneers of charities, and Absolutely. they don't have all the famous people backing them. So we're real proud to have the Shriners in this awesome. year. So. And they were struggling a little bit the last couple of years, too. So it's great to hear that you guys are helping them yeah. out. Need more details again, charlestonrestaurantassociation.com. And uh, if you don't have anything to do, just pretty much any sunny weekend, I'll see you over on the deck at Red. Come on <laughs> over. Come on down. It's the place to hang, man. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much. All right.